We are fast approaching the 4th of July. Oh yay, it's the holiday! And I figured for this 4th of July, I would spread the message of freedom. And to do this, I'm going to highlight exactly what it is that we are celebrating on the 4th of July. You know, I'm not sure how widely aware people are of what's being celebrated on the 4th of July, but uh, it, it's also called Independence Day, and it is the, cele uh, the celebration of the Declaration of Independence, and to drive to the heart of what it is that we are celebrating by celebrating this document, the Declaration of Independence, we are going to have to review the Declaration of Independence and see what the, the meaning of the Declaration of Independence really is. And so I have brought up the Declaration of Independence as it appears at Wikipedia. I'll read some of this out of here. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to, to the separation. This is saying basically that uh, you know, because people, um, uh, they're conversational beings, that you know, they understand language, that it's worth it to go ahead and express why it is that, you know, we are going to dissolve these bonds, and then, you know, you hope that the people that you are expressing this to, that uh, they will, they will take heed, they, they will recognize that this is a just cause, and that they should not continue their uh, their tyranny, which is what the Declaration of Independence is about. Uh, it is, uh, we'll, we'll get to this in a minute, but it is saying that there is a long string of abuses that were enacted by the British monarchy, and so the people of America were not going to take it anymore. Are you going to skip down through a little bit here? and go to um, this one really potent phrase, which is part of the third paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, it's towards the end of the third paragraph, and it says, when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce, to reduce them under absolute despotism. Take the, the, clever, uh, the clever wording used here by Thomas Jefferson to reduce them. What, what would that mean? Depopulation. Uh, also, it could mean that uh, their, their status is being reduced, that they are being uh, deprived of their capacity to self-determination, that they, uh, by the despotism of the British monarchy, that they were being denied their uh, their rights to self determination, that they be uh, at at freedom, at free will, to determine their life course. This uh, this sentence goes on to say, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Now. This is the crux of what it is that I'm driving to with this video, to throw off such government. What does it mean to throw off a government? You know, obviously the government is not going to be like, okay, you guys got us with those words pretty good, you know, we're just going to back right off. You know, you guys go ahead and have it. You know, all of that, uh, you know, all of that land, all of those resources, all of those farms, all of those, 
uh, you know, all that cotton, all that, uh, all that stuff you guys got, go ahead and rule it because we don't care. You know, obviously the government is not going to be thrown off so easily. Obviously, to throw off a government, you are going to have to fight. You are going to have to lob bullets at their enforcers until their enforcers decide just like the just like the German mercenaries did during the Revolutionary War that they are not about this anymore that they are gonna join the side of the revolution and that's the um, that is the the history of revolution is that the people are way bigger than the people that are trying to rule us and when it comes to it that they have pissed off enough people that the people decide that they are gonna stop their enforcers the enforcers get stomped and that's what we're celebrating on Independence Day we're celebrating that we destroyed enough of the enforcers of the British monarchy the tyranny that that was ruling over America when uh, or ruling over America in colonial times that we destroyed enough of their enforcers that they couldn't get people to come over here to try to keep on enforcing their grossly tyrannical rule and it's history it's another uh, it's another means of depopulation that the tyranny uses I mean they're just interested in depopulation because less people is easier to control and they don't care if it's their enforcers getting killed they don't care if it's the resistance getting killed they don't care who it is that's getting killed just as long as depopulation is occurring you know they'll uh they hold it out to you oh we really care about you and you know really want you to uh you know to do your tyranny real good you know we uh we want to give you all the best equipment to do all the tyranny that you can do really they just want you to kill as much of the opposition as you can they want you to die eventually you know for your ser uh for your service to tyranny and then you know that's that's what it is that that makes the the tyrants happy is that you know they uh they they don't care who it is that, that's being killed they just care that people are being killed depopulation in the declaration of independence to reduce them under absolute despotism you know and absolute despotism has a long history of being very murderous you know that they they capture people they pay people to stretch these people in dungeons and to you know stab them bloody dead until you know they reveal where uh, you know where their buddies are and all this you know, despotism it, it has a long history of being very abusive and uh, the, the present US government has a long history of being very abusive also you know, um, it's been like a whole decade that they authorized pigs cops to uh, murder on whim that they don't have to have any uh, evidence that proves that the people that they're killing are armed and a danger to anybody you know not to the cops themselves or to public or uh, to the general public or to anybody that they have authorized their pigs to murder people willy-nilly just for no reason at all and uh, the because of this authorization by the government you know be it um, you know, local governments state governments the federal government you know they they all are in bed together toward murdering people regardless of you know what it is that those people are doing you know if those people are defending their rights and they get murdered that's cool with the government and you know uh, the government's cool with people getting beat beat bloody uh, you know it's uh, pepper sprayed tasered uh, you know microwaved whatever it is whatever it is uh, that can be used to uh, you know for for a very temporary uh, solution to enforce the tyranny they they are craven of power but what it does is 
it just gets more and more people. You know, and there, there's a massive society out here. It gets more and more people involved towards defeating the tyranny. You know, as people hear that their friend got beat up, or their cousin, or their brother or sister, and you know, or their their mom or dad, you know that you know they weren't doing anything but enacting their free speech rights, and then you know the cops showed up and they tortured them with pepper spray and you know with uh, with jail time and freezing in jail and whatever else it is, you know. So when uh, you know as people spread these stories and we're all connected by six degrees of separation, meaning that. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody on the planet has uh, a relation to, is connected to every other person across six degrees of separation, meaning that, like, um, uh, my cousin knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who is somebody else. That's the same for everybody on the whole planet that we're all connected by a mere six degrees of separation. So, you know, as, as you're pissing people off, you know, be they, you know, oh, they're just the poor people. You know, they know people who are in the middle class. They know people who are in the upper middle class. Uh, you know, the, um, they, uh, you know, the, um, you know, even the elitists, you know, the, uh, the financial predators, the dominant, they are connected to everybody by six degrees of separation. So, you know, where you might be thinking like, oh, I can get away with this so easy because, you know, um, the government put me onto this and they're just poor people. Society won't have it. And you know, ultimately, you'll piss off enough people and enough of those people, if they're not gun owners, they'll become gun owners. And then they will rise up against this tyranny celebrating the uh, the destruction of the agents of tyranny is not an exclusively American uh, is not an exclusively uh, exclusively American undertaking we are not the only nation that celebrates the the destruction of the agents of tyranny the tools of tyranny I'm speaking directly to you guys out there who are cops and spy agents, pigs, you know, that uh, you willfully break the law, you murder people. Um, not only are you going to be killed in this revolution, people are then going to celebrate your death for hundreds of years until, you know, uh, maybe, you know, the, uh, the joy of you haven't been killed, that other people then gain their freedom, that, you know, maybe then uh, the uh, the joy of it will will have uh, settled down a little bit. But look at this, the 4th of July. It's like a lot of people's favorite holiday. They love the 4th of July. And you know, it being Independence Day, it being the celebration of the destruction of the agents of tyranny, you know, it's a pretty good indication as to how it's gonna play out this time. That, you know, with this government being so goddamn tyrannical and you know, with you people who are serving this tyrannical government, you know, with your deaths being so impending that you know it, they, uh, you know, that that you be destroyed in the warfare you're brewing by spying on people without warrant and by harassing the whole of the nation. You know that uh, the federal government they're telling you Christians, Christians are are terrorists. Animal rights activists are terrorists. Libertarians are terrorists. And you're just going right along with this organization. You don't care. You don't care what's real. You don't care You know if the government has been doing things that have been legitimate offenses against these people. You know, not that the, the offense of them be legitimate, but that the offenses be real. That the government is criminal. You don't care. And so... When you die, and you become worm food, your death is going to be celebrated, you know, for, for it being the ridding of the planet, or the ridding from the planet, of agents of tyranny. Uh, I'm going to give you some other, some other nations that they celebrate. 
They celebrate the destruction of the agents of tyranny. Bastille Day is a French holiday. The French, they, uh, during the French Revolution, they stormed a prison, which was a, uh, an armory. It was like a bunch of, you know, guns and, and bullets and powder, um, all in this armory. And so, French people, when they rose up, they decided they were going to go get the guns and the bullets that the government had bought. And so that's what they did. And uh, in the storming of the Bastille prison, they, they killed only seven they killed the top guy. They lost 80. In America, the, uh, the division between uh, the agents of tyranny, which is, um, you know, I don't know how many of them are are just totally soulless, that they, they don't care. Uh, you know, that as bad as things are going to get, the orders that they're being given, that they're just going to go along with it, but it's probably not most of them. You know, it's probably like... 10%, I'm going to guess, that, you know, as bad as the orders are going to get, they're going to go along with it. You know, like, I'll go round these people up, and we're going to put them through death camps. And, um, you know, probably about 10% is going to go along with stuff like that. So, you know, the, um, you know, the agents of tyranny in total, uh, the soldiers and the police force of America, you know, the, uh, the hired guns at the, um, at the behest of the, uh, the federal tyranny, uh, and their cronies and the state governments, uh, in total, there are about 3 million people. Now there's 300 million Americans who own more than 300 million guns. At last count, uh, is on like... Can't remember what the name of the site is. You know, I'll post a link. Uh, that they say, for every 100 Americans, there's 101 guns. One out of three US citizens is a gun owner. In recent years, there's been uh, gun sales of upwards of 5 million per month, 5 million guns per month being sold. So every 20 months, there's 100 million more gun owners in America, um, or uh, there's 100 more, million more guns in America, and you know, already we're at more than 300 million guns. So anyhow, you know, for... Um, it never works out for the tyrants because they're so few. You know, they um, if they were to expand their ranks, then you know they they would be losing out. So uh, you know they uh, they would be giving away their military secrets to people who are more greatly aligned by the six degrees of separation to other people in the society. That you know they. Um, you know, they, they're not so, uh, you know, they, they, they're for their brothers and their sisters and their cousins and their friends that they've known through their whole lives. That's who these people, uh, that's who these people are loyal to and why it is that the, the tyranny cannot, uh, you know, these people who the, the most of their control is by money, that they, they give you money to carry out their corruption and that's why you do it. And so, you know, for, um, you know, for these people whose control is money to overcome the, uh, to overcome humanity, who, you know, while, um, while it doesn't require the, um, the destruction of their brothers and cousins and, um, you know, they're, they're friends since birth and all this, that while it doesn't require that, they'll go along with the mission for money. You know, they'll, they'll do the corruption. They'll do the corruption for money while it's not affecting them. But when it becomes all-out warfare, which it does, that's what happens. 
is that, you know, when the tyranny gets so out of control that, you know, they're just trying to murder everybody all at once, then people won't go along with it anymore. And so this rank of, you know, three million gunfighters owned by the federal tyranny, it, it will drop to, you know, 300,000 overnight, and then it'll be 300 million versus 300,000, and then we'll have a holiday to celebrate your death for hundreds of years.